Spencer is really I'm, happy I about love this. the 70s. They're fantastic. 78 is wonderful. Enjoy it for the, for the day it's here. All right. Well, believe it or not, did you know this? There are plenty of other people who are not only awake, but working at the same time that we are each morning. And that you guys are up, too. Makes me feel not like a lunatic, which mm -hmm. is good. So to get to know a little bit about what they have going on at ODARG 30, we sent Jay Bates out on the job. He's live in Garden City this morning. Hey, Jay. Hey, how's it going, guys? That's right. Everybody else is getting ready for work. These guys are already at work. We are at Payette Brewing Company. I am with Beef Tracy. He tells me that it's his real name. We're kind of getting the process going of brewing the beer, and it starts at 5.30 in the morning, you guys tell me. Sometimes so, earlier. Sometimes earlier? Yeah. Wow. All right, so kind of walk us through. Let's let's start. Let's let's make some beer this so, morning. So I'll get here. Well, he'll get here and start the brewing, but we'll get into that next. Uh, first, we got to get our fermenter all ready and clean and sanitary, because that's one of the most important things. Right. Because that's where the beer is Cleanliness is goodness. That's right. So I'm going to have you help us out. OK. Grab uh, here, grab one of those. All right, what is this thing that I'm holding? That's a butterfly valve. Okay. Just spray it down with that sanitizer water. Okay. And you want to inspect it, make sure that there's no buildup or gunk anywhere. What am I looking for? Just anything, gunk? Anything that you think. What is the technical term for gunk? Uh, that stuff. That stuff. Okay, yeah. got it. All right, so now you just want to go ahead and throw your gasket right there, that up against it, and then use your cheap clamp. I'll, hold, I'll help you out here. All right. Gasket. Gasket. This thing. Butterfly valve. Okay. Now here's the, here's, the, here's the trick. Now you're gonna hold that with one hand and put that on with the other. Oh yeah. Today, that sounds easy. Come on, man. We got beer to put in this thing. Hey, we've got all morning, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not as easy. Hey, my gasket stayed on. That's a good sign, right? We'll twist this out a little bit. Okay. All right. As you can see, this is going to take me all morning, but the nice thing is we'll be here all morning going through the processes of putting together some of the beer. We'll talk about some of the Payette Brewing's beer as well throughout the morning and maybe some events they got coming up, so stay tuned. Hey, look, look at that. that. We're almost there. I'm, I'm almost an apprentice at this point. <laughs> so we'll send it back to you guys. We'll be back later in the next half hour. Yeah, almost is a key word. You're so close, Jay. I'm Keep just wondering, it. does Jay get paid double today? Because he's working another job while he's at this job yeah, working, I really. I mean, if, if you think about it. That's so. an issue for the boss, probably. <laughs> but it looks like fun. So this, yeah, so Jay on the job. We'll check in with him throughout the morning, kind of see what it takes to get the beer up and running. Nice really. to know we're yeah. not the only ones up. Yeah. Right now it's 521. Coming up next, if only we crits. I was going to guess women, I confess. I would have guessed women. It seems more likely that they'd be... Buying a dress here and there and In shoes. In our household, it's, it's the women. Okay. <laughs> well, believe it or not, there are plenty of other people who are not only up right now, like we all are, but actually working at the same time as the Good Morning Idaho crew. Yeah, and Jay Bates is live this morning getting a little lesson out in Garden City, seeing what goes on behind the scenes early, early in the morning at Payette Brewing Company. Hey there, Jay. Hey, guys. How you doing? That's right. These guys up almost as early as us getting ready for the, the day's brews with JT Hickson, who's the brewer that comes in every morning at 5.30. Tell me what you do this early. Uh, we just get the day started, do the first, so we do usually four brews a day. Um, and so I just start the first one off and uh, yeah, get, get the day started. So AJ's up there right now next to the big tank. Right. Describe to me what's going on inside so that we tank. have the uh, malted barley for Outlaw going in. We brew anywhere from 120 to 180 barrels of Outlaw a week. A week? A week, yeah. So um, we saw beef setting up a 30 barrel fermenter earlier. Uh -huh. So these big guys are the 60s. So yeah, we do uh, one one batch of 15. So we do four of those a day. Usually. So Except give me an idea of how much beer is in that tank for the layman. How many uh, cans so of beer are in there? Cans? Uh, <laughs> I'm not real sure, but that would, it's probably going to equate to about... Um, about 110 kegs or so. 110 kegs of beer. Wow, that's a lot of beer. And every morning you're doing this how many days a week? Uh, we do this six days a week now. It's a lot of beer, oh man. We're going to come back. We're going to do a lot more brewing and canning and kegging and I don't know all the technical terms. We're going to learn all that on the job throughout the morning here on Good Morning Idaho. All right, Dave, sounds good. And we learned to don't bring up cans with the pay it the pay They don't think that small. It's much bigger in uh -uh. their minds. All right, it's 540 <laughs> in studio with us this morning, but he is having fun out somewhere this morning. Yes, he is. He's out with people who are at work at the same time as us, so we know we're not that crazy. Right, Jay, you're at Pay It Brewing Company today.
That's right, the sun is just coming up, but many of these guys have been up for a couple of hours getting things ready down here at Payette. JT going to give us a, a little bit more of a tour. Kind of walk us through like where everything goes to go into a beer here. Right, so we'll start uh, right here. This is our grist case. This is where all the crushed up malted barley and different grains uh, start from. Okay. And then we'll, it's uh, just a huge grinder that's bringing up well, all the little... Yeah, the mill's on the top, and then that holds all the broken apart okay. pieces, basically. From there, then where yeah, we'll go Yeah, we'll go through uh, our tube right there. That big white tube there's takes a, There's an away. auger through there. <laughs> all yeah. right. And it brings it over here back to the kettles that we were at earlier. Right, and then we're at the brew house, and uh, we'll basically sit over here for an hour once it's all in. It's basically steeping like okay. your, your tea. And then we'll send over here, we'll boil, and then we have our wort, and then uh, then our job's done and the yeast takes over. Okay, and then from there, it goes into the tanks, and how long right. does it ferment for? Uh, depending on the beer, two weeks to five or six weeks. And we were noticing some of the barrels and stuff when we came in, like the whiskey barrels and that kind of right. stuff. That's for special beers. Yeah, that's a beer that we release uh, every Black Friday. It's called uh, 12 Gauge, and yeah, we just have a big party down here. And so this is like a major planning step. I mean, yeah. how long from, it gets to that room to on the shelf. Uh, probably about a year. Wow, that is a long time for your beer. I was thinking that we'd be able to tap into some. Oh, yeah, show. we can. Maybe just not that stuff. <laughs> All right, okay. That sounds great. We'll have much more coming up from Pan Brewing a little bit later in the show, and we'll show you just how much beer they're going to put out, and we'll can some as well coming up. I love it. Yeah, all good things to those who wait. There you go, Jay. Have some patience, right? Patience for okay. you. Jay is on the job this morning at <laughs> 622. And coming up next on Good Morning Idaho, a whale of a boating. Up at zero dark 30 like we do to go to work, yeah. pretty much. They're busy this early in the morning. It's not dark anymore, but True. still very early. And Jay Bates, I think you were about to finish up a batch of beer there at Payette Brewing Company. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we have actually we've done the mash, we've done the brewing, we've done the grinding. It's time to do some canning, and that's one of the things that's cool about Payette is they actually can their own beer here. So, Beef is back. And I'm back. <laughs> that's great. That's like a promotional thing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start up the machine. Go for it. All right. All right, and Beef's going to kind of describe to AJ what's going on here on the canning line. All right, so as the beer, we put the beer in the cage, and as it gets pushed off onto the conveyor belt, goes down the car wash. Oh. Just like that. There we go. We're going to pull the safety finger. It's going to be a finger. beer accident. It's going to be my fault. Why am I good morning out <laughs> The beer so, comes around. It's a 12 filler head. It gets purged with CO2 mm -hmm. and then gets filled with the beer. And as it comes out the other end, it'll be filled with uh, Payette beer. And you're telling me then it comes down the line and it it's going to come over here to all of the cases and everything. And that's it's right. literally the Lucille Ball thing. You just got to get them in the six yeah, that's right. in the that's case. Right. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than that. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Um, so you were describing to me how many cans a day you guys are putting out here. You said a 10 hour shift. They did how much? They did 750 cases and there's 8,169 cans on a pallet. They'll do about four pallets a day. Four pallets a day. So that's a lot of cans. All right, so as this comes down the line, what exactly do I got to do here? So you'll stand on that end. Okay. We have a guy standing over here. After the cans get rinsed and washed, yep. we'll come over here, we'll weigh a few. They're looking good. They want to check the seams. All right, so as we finish up here, I've been helping out with your job. Beef wants to try my job, so we're going to let him sign out and send it back to you. All right. From Garden City, Payette Brewing Company, I'm Beef Tracy. This is Jay. Back to you in the studios. <laughs> Fabulous. Watch out, Great guys. Great job. That was, that was excellent, actually. Beef's on the job, too. Yeah. Jay and Beef are just going to switch places. He might be doing now trending tomorrow when we Maybe. come back. Maybe. I don't want to do that job, though. <laughs> I don't want to mess up anybody's beer. Don't mess with people's beer. That is one thing that I know. Keep it good. And they do have good beer. Nothing goes better with beer than beef. That's right. <laughs> and we got both this morning. Or hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Since it's hot dog day. Yep. <laughs>